Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you like a personal reading, that is going to be down below in the description where you can find that on my website. And also what you can find on my website is my tarot cards that I've made. One of the tarot decks that I've made is currently on sale here, $50 off and that sale only lasts for the weekend. It is the Spirit of Scorpio Tarot. So I could just show you just a little bit of it. Kind of give you some examples. Ooh, you know what? All right. Three of Wands. This is the Three of Wands. This means there's three things you've been waiting for that are coming in for you. Okay? Now, if some Scorpio card comes out, we'll move back over to the Scorpio deck later. But currently, we're on Aquarius. We're going to pull a theme card of the day for Aquarius. So let's see what, what's going on for you. Using my Aquarius tarot. There's also a bunch of other things on sale on that website too. But the sale for the tarot cards only lasts for this weekend. But let's pull one card for the theme of the day for Aquarius. King of Cups is your card for the theme of the day. Now, the King of Cups, it represents a man that is very deep in his emotions, okay? So, either this is you or this is somebody important to you around you, okay? Whichever one it is, because like I said, it's a general reading. Not all of you are men, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... For some reason, the King of Cups is the theme. And like I said, that, that either that's because that's you, or it's just somebody that's around you. But let's see. Let's see what we have going on for Aquarius. So. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of water, watery, you know what I'm saying? Like there's this water type of vibe in this reading. So either you have some strong water placements in your chart or you may have a water sign around you, potentially Pisces with the Page of Cups. Here, there may be a Pisces that's going to reach out to you, could be about some money opportunity or they're talking, I, I don't know, I feel like it's, I feel like it's going to be an in-depth conversation. I don't feel like it's just about one particular thing. I feel like this person's going to be talking about some emotional matters as well as some financial matters here, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's going to be a very long conversation here. Temperance. There's something here you've been asking God for that you are about to receive. Okay. It's the emperor. Some of you guys may be taking like a business class or you're, you're doing some sort of class training here. I feel like it's something for your business here. But I feel like the opportunities you've been asking for, you are, you know, they're going to get presented to you. So you've been asking opportunities in terms of like business, career that's being presented to you, education being presented to you, you know, connections. It's all being presented to you, Aquarius. What you want is coming in. Okay, now since we have business coming out, I'm going to grab our business cards to kind of see more. Let's grab two cards. It is the budget card, and then it is the competition. You guys may have some competition. I feel like it's friendly competition, though, because you see these people are, like, smiling here. All right. Now, let's pull one card from here as well. Give me one card for Aquarius. Decide. Confused by too many choices. <laughs> Decide the best course of action to pursue income generating activities in your business. Yeah, this is this is prioritizing 
your activities, right? What comes first in your business? So it may be, you know, if you're just trying to get customers, you know, let's say if you don't have customers right now, that'd be your first priority, right? Is marketing here. That's just one example. But really, it's just like, what is going to be the best for your business? Deciding that, you know, what is the best avenue? What What is the best education? What is the best, you know, what is going to help you the most? What is going to progress you the most here? So, let's go, let's go, let's go over here. But too many choices is a good thing. You know, because you're having a lot of options being presented to you. You're having a lot of opportunities being presented to you. Okay. Yeah. A lot of choices on what you want to commit to in your life, what you want to do here. You know, you're at like a crossroads, but I feel like you're going to be deciding what you want here, what you truly want for your life, what you're going to be doing here. And I feel like you're going to be sticking to it, Aquarius. Uh, Some people may not like what you're doing, but whatever, you know, you're doing what's best for you. I'm seeing you getting everything you've been wishing for. Okay. You're getting every single thing that you've been wishing for. justice you guys could be getting justice for a heartbreak you know i'm seeing there's somebody here there's somebody here with you there's somebody here that i feel like you could be having a relationship with and that person is your justice okay it's justice for your love life here i don't know i see you coming together with somebody that i feel like is a reflection of you this is like twin flame type of vibe Right? So they're a reflection of you. They reflect back everything of you. You know what I'm saying? Like the good and the bad. You know what I'm saying, Aquarius? Like they're, they're a complete mirror of you. Some of you, this person could be a Libra here. Or they could have Libra placements within their birth chart. Doesn't have to be their sun sign. Okay, but you're going to be living life here like the Empress very abundantly. And you're going to be cutting off cords with things of the past. You're going to be cutting off cords with things that have hurt you before in the past. King of Wands here. You're going to be moving forward here in a direction that, I, like I said, is best for you. You know what I'm saying? What's best for your life here. Now we have the Emperor. We had the Empress earlier. We had another Emperor pop up earlier. But look, we have the Emperor and the Empress here. See what I'm saying? Like, you could be the Empress. They could be the Emperor or vice versa, Aquarius. But it's like, you're a perfect match. We have Aries here too. So maybe this person could have Aries within their birth chart. Or they're just like a boss. I feel like this person's a big business person. I feel like they're an entrepreneur here. I feel like they're very intelligent. You know what I'm saying? Like, wise here. Potentially Sagittarius as well. I feel like this person's very focused on their work. You know what I'm saying, Aquarius? Empress, look, you see we have a perfect match. Emperor with the Empress. They could have Aries in their Venus here, or maybe you do. Star, look, star is yourself. Queen of Wands, yeah, heavy fire. Heavy fire with this person. Doesn't even have to be their sun sign. It could just be somewhere within their birth chart. A lot of fire, though. I feel like they're a fiery person. I feel like they're very passionate here. I feel like they're very motivated. I feel like they're like, get, get things done. Don't stand around and talk about it. Get it done, you know? This person, they they radiate boss vibes. You know what I'm saying? But it's not like boss, like intimidating. It's like they get things done. You know what I'm saying? So let's go to our Aquarius Tarot since we have the Aquarius card with the star popping up to see more on what we have for you. Love. Yeah, look, there's love coming in. Doesn't, on this card, it doesn't really matter if you're like straight, gay, bisexual, whatever. 
love's coming in for you. It doesn't matter who you are. There's love that I feel like you're going to feel very deep in your emotions about this person. Yes, you are very deep in your emotions about this person here. A lot of you guys are popping up as healers as well, Aquarius. So you may be very healing and this person coming towards you, they could also be very healing here too. Um, some of you guys are setting up strong boundaries with people that have hurt you before in the past. Like I said, cutting those cords with things that hurt you before in the past and you have victory when you do that. Aquarius, we have the moon. We have you guys connected with your moon sign, whatever that is for you. Some of you guys may have water in your moon, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Or maybe maybe um, your person is going to have a water moon here. But I feel like you're stepping into new territories. I feel like you're stepping into the unknown. A lot of what you do is kind of the unknown or what you want to do is the unknown. But I feel like it's good for you. I feel like this is your heart's desires, right? You're moving towards your heart's desires. Everything you've been desiring, you're moving into it. Aquarius here. Yeah, it's a brand new beginning for you. In every aspect of your life here. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is yourself or the male or female. It does not matter. There may have been somebody that you walked away from. But I feel like that was a lot of people. Like I said, cutting cords with people here that have tried to hurt you before. Walking away from them. And you're looking at your options. You're looking at your choices. Deciding what you want to do with your life here. And I feel like you're releasing yourself from restriction and pain. Now you have some big miracle that's about to happen in your guys' lives here. Something that you thought was impossible becomes possible here. I'm, I'm seeing you're being guided towards. I'm seeing you guys are also reconnecting back to your spirituality here. Some of you guys can have Virgo within your birth chart. But I'm seeing, look, there's abundance coming in, Aquarius. You and your person are going to be extremely abundant here. Miracles are going to be happening Good things are going to be happening for you. Look, there's a lover. Like I said, there's a lover coming in that mirrors you. They are a reflection of you here, Aquarius. They are your reflection. They are your twin flame. Okay. Let's see more. For Aquarius. Emperor, look, Aries, heavy Aries here. I see heavy Aries, heavy Pisces. This person could be, you know what I'm saying? What was it? It was Aries, Pisces, Libra, potential Sagittarius as well. Something like that. For some reason, I'm seeing those signs. Okay. I feel like you're using your intuition on what to invest into and what not to invest into. What's good for your business and what's not good for your business. Once again, Aquarius, who you're going to be working with and who you're not going to be working with. You're, and that's going to be building up your wealth, Aquarius, here. I'm seeing some of you guys also getting into some charity events. And once again, there's a lot of options being presented to you. There's a lot of choices here. Yeah, look, you're moving towards your heart's desires. Queen of Swords. Once again, Queen of Swords is yourself. Whether male or female, does not matter. Some of you guys are wanting to explore. You're wanting to explore every area of your life. You're wanting to explore every aspect of your life. Some of you guys could also have Libra within your birth chart too. But I'm seeing you guys are like moving towards your own independence here. Your own freedom. There's a Seven of Swords. Are you going to see? Why is the Seven of Swords here? So let's see. Let's go over here. Pull these cards. Why do we have the Seven of Swords for Aquarius? Okay. That is way too many cards, but whatever. So you have the Nine of Wands. There's the Sun. There's the Nine of Cups. There's the Three of Swords. There's the Knight of Wands. Page of Cups. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Oh my god. There is... I feel like there's somebody here. I feel like this was somebody. I feel like this was something that happened in the past. I feel like there was somebody here that felt like they could do better than you. So like they broke your heart. They felt like they could do better than you, but they, they didn't. 
right? I don't think they did. Like, maybe for a moment they thought they did, but then I don't think that worked out. I'm seeing you are actually going to be the one that moves forward with your life once again into an actual relationship, which I feel like is really going to make this person mad here. Aquarius, they're going to, like, shut themselves off to where they start building a wall, and, you know, they're just, like, frustrated. But meanwhile, you're, like, moving forward here towards your own happiness in your own happy relationship. That's what I see for you. All right, so, Aquarius... That is what I have for you. If you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also go check out my website for more content. Goodbye, guys.